I'll miss these little get-togethers of ours. Pity they have to come to an end. But who are we to deny our destiny? You talk about destiny and fate as if you weren't responsible for the nightmare you unleashed. Was it fate that destroyed our sister Shara? No, you did. Shara betrayed us! Justice you have done! Murder! Think you're going? Just giving myself a little distance. <laughs> Not again! What's wrong with it? <laughs> oh no, Blake! <laughs> <sighs> must have lost track of the time limit. Another migraine? What a pity. Just when you were doing so well, too. Well, why have you stopped? Why don't you finish it? No, not this way. I want you to beat the Technoman Blade, not some quivering coward. I'll give you time to regain your strength, brother. Then we'll finish it. Blake! Are you all right? You. I don't get it, Star. How'd my brother get lucky enough to have a woman like you looking after him? As brave as you are beautiful. Tell me, what is it about him that's captured your heart? Why him, Star? Why not me? Everything Blade can offer, I can offer too, and much, much more. For one thing, my brain doesn't go off track every 30 minutes. Talk about brains going off the track! You with your mad obsession to kill your brother? Do you really hate him that much? Far from it. I don't hate him, I love him. I love him so much, I want to be him. I want to be him and me both. United in one body. What's that supposed to mean? The day my brother and I were born as twins, a genetic mistake was made. We were never supposed to be more than one person. So you see, to put the balance right, one of us must go. This is between Blade and myself. Stay out of it, Star. No, it's too late for me to stay out of it. Blade means everything in the world to me. I won't lose him. So hold it right there. I'll shoot. I'm warning you. Come on. You shoot somebody with this face? With his face? I don't think so. Stop! <gasps> Thank goodness. Saber's right, Star. This is strictly between him and me, so stay out of it. No, never. I won't do it. Please, please. Don't ask me that. Listen, this is my fight. You can't help me. I can't? I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you ready? Then let's finish it.
give up, brother? I hope so, because I'm afraid I've just about had it. What... what is that thing? Where... A homoid mind parasite. Implanted in all of us to keep us obedient. All except you, of course. With you, the process was never completed. I wish I could blame it all on that little thing. But the fact is, I made myself what I became. Frankly, I enjoyed being saved with the Techno Man. Kane, you... No sermons. You haven't time. Take this. You'll need it to fight Darkon. Finally, the two of us are truly one. Good luck, Nick. And goodbye. arrived for which the warlord Darkon has been waiting so long. Yes! At last, my strength has returned, and with it, the power to raise the mothership from its anchorage here on this flightless ball of dust. Now to descend upon the planet below and claim it for my Venomoid master. Let the heavens tremble! I feel him reaching out, trying to steal what's left of my mind, my soul. No! I've got to fight him. Got to hang on to the memories I have left. Mother, resist. Got to remember who I am. I must remember friends. My friend. No! Commander Blake's lost contact with the Technobot. Something happened. He's floating away from me. He's not responding to my signal. <sighs> so his mind must have snapped at last. Commander Jameson. All of a sudden, I'm getting a lot of seismic activity on the moon's surface. Tremors of enormous strength. can travel that far. And if there's any part of you that can hear them, I love you. I love you.
Greetings. It's been too long, Blade. Yes, Darkon. I couldn't agree more. I should have taken you out a long time ago. Easier said than done, Technoman. What's that? Saber's crystal? So he who was once your brother Cain is no more. Sword, too, is gone. You consider yourself noble and good. What have you done but betray us and murder your friend for your own flesh and blood? Now you come for me. Do you seek the obliteration of your entire family? Is that it? Shall none of us survive? Conrad? Yes, little brother. Until the Venomoids chose me as their warlord, the Technopods aboard their probe knew I was the strongest life form on the Argos, but I would let nothing stop me! Nothing! Too late. My strength is restored and the mothership is aloft. The planet below belongs to me now. <laughs> no, it's never too late. Not while I'm alive. That's a condition soon to change. You are strong, Blade. As strong a Technoman as ever was created. The penultimate Technoman. But I am a Techno Warlord and therefore the ultimate Technoman. I have powers you can scarcely dream of. More slaves to do your dirty work? No, Dark Yeah! This time you fight your own battle. Fool! If we could have come to this, you could have been one of us, brother. A master of the cosmos! Hang on to us. Draw on our strength. Our love for you. Fight on. Fight on. Star. Hang on to our love, Blade. Hang on. <laughs> you have chosen to remain with the humans, so now you shall share their fate. Shall not harm techno. I'll get away, robot! I am Vegas. Goodbye, Blade. survived it. Some kind of miracle. Yes, indeed, Ringo. 
and you're walking away from the crash of the Blue Earth. I didn't exactly walk away from it, sir. An unfortunate choice of words. Sorry. None of us made it through unscathed. Blade, of course, doesn't remember a thing about it. But otherwise, he seems to be recovering well. He has a very devoted nurse. Forgetfulness. In this instance, I think it's nature's way of being kind. It's better for him not to remember, but the rest of us must never forget what he did. Isn't the sunset beautiful? Worth coming out for, wasn't it? Yes. Beautiful. We'll see them all from now on, everyone, together.